Welcome to the Hollywood Scholar. I'm Jed Morgan. And there's been a lot of Doctor Who news going on recently with the recent announcement of a new Doctor, some new casting, some news of some returning actors, and just some good stuff, some bad stuff, some concerning stuff. It's just overall a very mixed bag going forward into uh, the 14th Doctor and season 14 as a whole. I'm very, very concerned about everything that I'm hearing and a lot of my excitement is going down despite David Tennant and Catherine Tate coming back to reprise their roles. And a new piece of news that we just got is that this actress, Yasmin Finney, I believe is how you pronounce that, joins Doctor Who cast. And initially, it's oh, it's whatever. I was not familiar with this actress. Um, it's fine that she was joining the cast. Not a big deal. And then you read the article further and things start to get a little bit more muddled. Doctor Who gains its heartthrob as Yasmin Finley joins the cast. And at this point, it's best assumed that it's the companion going forward for Shudi Gatwa, but that's just an assumption at this point. Yasmin Finney has joined the cast of Doctor Who playing the character of Rose, and there's been a lot of debate online whether or not this is the Rose, Rose Tyler from seasons one through four, that everyone believes it is. I mean, she's the only real Rose in the Doctor Who fandom, and I, I personally believe it is for a myriad of reasons. I mean, Hollywood loves to race and gender swap and even, well, a sexuality swap because uh, this is a transgender actor it checks quite a few diversity check boxes so I, I believe it especially with the inclusion of uh, the character rose now that might seem like nitpicking to a few people but i think that if it was a separate rose they would call it a character named rose that's how they introduce new characters usually instead of the character that implies that the audience already knows who this is at least in my personal opinion and yeah, I, I think it's it's Rose. She does have a great response to getting cast, as did Shudi Gatwa initially. This is kind of the thing you want to hear, at least for the first part of this, or the first and the end part of it. The middle is a little concerning. Uh, this is from Yasmin. If anyone would have told eight-year-old Yasmin that one day she'd be part of the iconic show, I would never in a million years believe them. This, uh, this show has a place in so many people's hearts, so to be a trans actress, that's the concerning part, is that it's not about identity. It's just, hey, I love to be in the show. I'm so happy to be here. That part was great. And then getting into her identity, it's very concerning because it shows where her priorities are, and that can lead to some issues. It isn't necessarily a surefire sign that there's going to be issues, but it is a red flag, at least in my opinion, where the priorities are at. Uh, by the legend himself, Russell, uh, has not only made by my year, it made my life. I cannot wait to begin this adventure or this journey and for you all to see how Rose blossoms get ready. And yeah, that's more wording that I think leans towards that it is the Rose Tyler that we know and love. And yeah, uh, Russell T. Davis also added, life on Doctor Who gets brighter and wilder. How can there be an, another Rose? And yeah, I think that's more evidence that this is the Rose Tyler and not some sort of random character who's also named Rose. They wouldn't be putting so much un emphasis on it if it was just a random character. They're putting a lot of emphasis on it. So I definitely believe that it is the same character. And that is very concerning because there is only one Rose Tyler. Billy Piper. She will always be Rose Tyler, one of the greatest companions in Doctor Who history, and I will not see her replaced by anyone. Anyone. And making it a race and gender swap just sounds like it's going to be a virtue signal defense, as so much of Hollywood uses these days. If anyone says, hey, I don't like this new Rose. I think it should stay Billy Piper. Oh, no, no, no. You're just a racist and a transphobe. Um, no, we just like Billy. No, no, no. And that's the concerning part of it. I wouldn't like this anymore if this character looked exactly or this actress looked exactly like Billy Piper. It's not Billy Piper. So that's just as concerning. And the race and uh, tr gender swap does cause some concern whether or not they'll be dipping into that pre-made defense well that so much of Hollywood and television uh, BBC really does as a whole. It's very concerning. We all fell in love with her in Heartthrob, yep, and she will can change the Hooniverse. And I've seen this phrase going out a lot more in recent days. That coupled with some new set photos of David Tennant and Catherine Tate on set, that's not his customary outfit. That seems a lot darker. And, you know, of course, Catherine Tate is alive and well and a companion again. And I love both of these characters, but they did both age quite a bit, so... 
it, I don't know if they can be playing their younger selves anymore. That coupled with that this is Jody Whitaker's TARDIS. Uh, yeah, it, it's a little concerning. And as this uh, person in the top of the chat mentioned, Donna Safe and Sound, Tenet in a Dark Coat, Jody's TARDIS, could this be an alternate universe? And I think multiverses are so popular these days that I think that's where Russell's going to be going for is making a universe as he puts it here and this is an alternate universe version of rose tyler that's not any better uh multiverses are a gimmick at best and less dedicated to the concept as in everywhere uh, all at once that new film that is incredible unless you do it like that it's just a gimmick it's just a one-off and doctor who has always said that they need to avoid it they've only done it in one or two instances and it's just because it opens up too many possibilities too many issues and it, it's just a tricky subject to deal with if you're not using it cheaply and then people don't value it if it's done cheaply so it's better just to avoid it entirely so yeah that is my theory at this point is that she will be playing an alternate universe version of rose tyler and that David Tennant will be like an evil version of himself most likely that way we can show toxic white man that would be my guess at this point that coupled with Hooniverse some of the other casting news we have uh, David Tennant always said he he wanted to come back if it was something new and interesting and I think alternate universe would be a way for it to be new and interesting and then the BBC Bad Wolf have this perfect defense of, oh, you're just a racist transphobe. If you have an issue with any of that that I just said, just having one person involved who falls into that diversity checkbox criteria defends the whole storyline. And that I have a strong issue with. Creative choices should be able to stand up on their own without political defenses. So, yeah, that's my theory for what's going on. I'm not a fan of it. I think multiverses are old hat at this point. They're getting way too overblown, overpopular, and they're in everything. And I just really wish Russell T. Davies doesn't and wouldn't dip into such a cheap well virtue signaling, if nothing else, or just laziness. I value Russell T. Davies more and his creativity more that I hope this isn't true. But it seems more and more that we hear about his season coming up, that he's betrayed that artistic integrity, that he's betraying the fans. And I don't want that to be true. I want to be wrong. I've never wanted to be so wrong in my entire life and in my entire YouTube career. But at this point, that speculation is all I have. It is all speculation. But it it's seeming more and more clear as the days progress. But anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this theory is accurate? Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. If you like what I do here and want to see good, compelling stories that Hollywood will no longer give you, check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern-day mental illness issues. Books 1, Down in Flames, and Book 2, Apocalypse Then, currently on sale. Book 3, Kill the Dark, coming soon.